What's up guys, Gordon Briley here with Pino X Fitness and Nutrition and today we're going to go over the amazing crossbar. So I'll actually modify this to fit your rack. So depending on the size of your rack, let's say the inside to inside of your uprights, I actually just customize it to fit that. Sometimes I'll have to drill different holes, but no big deal. It, we get it to fit just right for yours. And there's a special fitting for non Fino X racks that actually have, and I'll show you, a slotted fitting and that allows for adjustability depending on how wide your rack is. So the bar I'll cut, but then this fitting, you're just gonna slide it in or out just to go just around the outside of the hole. And that's where you're gonna secure it, just like this one here. And we'll go over the actual um, assembly of this after the description. But what, what is the crossbar for? And it's to allow for a lot of different things and some of it's just going to be by your imagination because I've thought of a lot of things but uh, it is so user friendly and so dynamic that you're going to be able to think of other things. You just have to keep safety in mind. Uh, so for your rack, if you have a landmine, which I normally have here, this is going to give you the ability to do things like rows and you're going to be able to adjust it to any height as long as you have holes in the front, which Pretty much everyone does actually there's a lot of racks that don't but so as long as you have holes you're going to be able to adjust this to any height that you want to be able to do a lot of different exercises so one of the things that i do is actually a t-bar row um, with the landmine here and you may have to de depend it on your home gym garage gym whatever it may be the situation you may have to bring your rack out some to make it fit uh, mine's about 45 inches from the from the wall out ideally it would probably be a little bit farther away so you guys can as long as your rack is movable uh, and if that's something you want to be able to utilize it with is the landmine then you can just move your rack to make it work perfect so that's that's a nice part the seat itself is one thing that i utilize it for so this is going to be adjustable it pivots so to allow you to reach and get into the perfect position to pull so that's one thing, and then you can also pull the pin and slide it in, and you can actually lock it in place. So you actually have to do it this way. Now you have a static seat, so if you actually want to do something lower this down and actually sit on it, do shoulder raises, whatever it may be, it's just designed to be uh, a multifunctional piece. So one of the other things, this is take the seat out, is the J hook. So if you're doing squats with your belted squats with your uh, landmine or whatever it may be, however you set it up, you're able to slide this right out of the way. So I call this the cube. Right now I have the cube facing backward. You can put this cube on any way that you want because once you get utilizing this, you may see that you actually want this piece that's in back currently this piece here, you may see that you want it a little bit farther away so you can just take the fittings off or uh, maybe you get lucky right off the bat. So it can either be facing up with this out or you can face it this way and down. That's how I currently have it, just like so. Um, but you can actually take this off if you decide that you need this facing up or this facing out and you already have it on here. All you do is take this crossbar and plug it in from the back side. So this actually, I decided I want something, I like the compressive force, so you don't have a wobble with a basic pin. So a lot of things that you guys probably are familiar with have a wobble. So I wanted something that was compressive that's gonna stop that, but also have another use, and that's just how I am. I like everything to have a purpose. So these eye hooks, you can actually utilize these when you're not using the crossbar. Uh, to hook bands and stuff up to so it's just a little extra um, Stuff like this has adjustability So depending on where you want to Let's say you're doing a belt squat and someone's a little bit shorter than you you can actually drop this to fit them and this pivots Depending on the angle whatever you're utilizing you can shift this angle to capture that bar or whatever it is perfectly and you just give it a little just hand tighten and a lot of times it will just kind of move itself to fit. If not, you just loosen it just a tiny bit. 
So again, with, with anything that's telescoping, and this is something that people look at it as a bad thing, but it, to me it's perfect, um, it has a little bit of play, and that's obvious because it has to move. But as soon as, and I call it a gravity system, the second that you place any weight on it, it presses everything against the nearest side, and it doesn't move at all. So that's just kind of, when looking at it, it makes people think, oh my God, that's weird. That doesn't really, it doesn't look like it works right, but that's exactly what it's meant to do. And that's what gives it the dynamic capability with so much adjustability. So lots of different accessories that you can plug into this. And if you're watching our videos, you might find stuff uh, that you can easily add to this later on just to make it that much more functional. And there is a million things. Um, so what I'm going to do is switch over to actually how to install this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this crossbar. We're going to slide the cube on whatever direction you want. And you may figure out that you don't like it the way that it is, but it's just two bolts. Take one side off and transition it. So you've got lots of different options. But for me, I have it with this hole facing up. And this back and then I slide it on and once that's on we're gonna start putting our fittings on so we have a two hole fitting and that will go on the back side I'm actually gonna remove this so this isn't right in my grill you can see how fast it is to actually remove and if you need to adjust the height it's super easy you don't even have to hang on to it just pull it out and then get used to this cube moving just slide it down to the one side and then you can just put your pieces back on if you're going to store it away. Or you just plug it in into a new hole. It's super easy. But for now, so we have this cube on and then we're going to have a two hole fitting. That's going to go on the back side. And then we're going to have two bolts a washer on the outside. You're gonna take this fitting, this one's the really important one. You're gonna pass these two bolts through here. And then we're gonna pass these through the last two holes. We're gonna place our two hole fitting. You wanna push it all the way down because it has some play. So you wanna push it all the way this way so it's basically flush with this end because you don't want it to interfere. Then you'll put a washer on both of these and then, then you're gonna put a half inch, these are half inch bolts. You're going to just put a nut on these and then you're gonna use a three quarter wrench. So I use a wrench and an impact and just put the nut on and you're gonna cinch these down. But first what you have to do, if this is a different, if this is a non pheno X wrap, what you have to do is get this up here, leave some space, a little bit of a gap, make sure it's not hitting on the other end. And then you're just gonna move this right to the edge, outer edge of the hole. That way you can see if it's a wider rack, you're gonna be able to move this way out here. But for mine, I want it right on the edge of that hole. And then you're gonna mark it or something to actually keep that spot or have someone start tightening the bolts, but you wanna keep it right where it's at. So I'm not actually gonna assemble it right now. But that's, that's really the only thing you have to do. You'll get this side, bolted down in place and then you'll move to the other side slide that fitting so it's on the very outside of this hole and then tighten it down after that just like i showed you taking on and off you're going to use this with the compression quick knob you just pass this through it's inside of this so i'll just demonstrate it with this one again So you'll pass it through, there's a washer here, and that's just to protect it. You just pass it in, into the hole, through the back side, and then tighten the knob down. It's as simple as that. You don't have to over tighten them, just get them, get them hand tight, and then um, 
you'll be good to go. You don't want to over tighten these. So the next thing is, if you have one inch holes, and a lot of people were asking about this, what I do is actually provide these, these which will reduce the hole essentially. So you'll pass this through here, just keep it right on there, you'll pass it through. It's just gonna sit on the bottom of that hole, which is perfectly fine. You're gonna put the other one on the back side and then put your compression fitting on there. It's a little extra work, but in the end, to have something this cool and this uh, usable, I think that's pretty minor. So up to you to decide that. But that's all it takes. With these threads, it actually holds it and kind of locks it in there. So when you take it off, it just doesn't fall out. So I love that. And then you can actually utilize these by sticking them in, dependent on the size of your rack, in different holes and just utilizing these all by themselves. So you would just put them on, quick knob, and they're, they're now held down. So you can utilize these for different things. So this is pretty easy. The only thing I need to know is the size of your rack. So inside to inside. And then also how wide is your upright. So do you have three by three? That way I know exactly how long this needs to be and to make sure that this fitting is gonna work to meet the outside of your holes, plus what size holes you have. Um, and that is it. Very simple, I've customized it for you. There's no additional cost with that. Um, it's just something I do. I want you guys to be able to use some of our products, even if you have different racks, I don't care about that. Um, some of the accessories, they're usually sold separate, so you'll have to look for the, um, the J-hook, the seed is sold separate. So these are things that you'll wanna look for and pick those up and um, pretty much everything else comes with it. And if you have questions, I didn't uh, go over something, just reach out, I'm happy to help. So thanks for watching.